What's up, y'all? Um, this your boy Big Jern. Um, I decided to do a little more serious video today. I'm gonna talk about cone area of subwoofers when it comes to car audio. Now, there's been a little misconception going around about how to measure cone area with subwoofers, and like some people think it's you measure by saying like two 12-inch subwoofers. Um, you take them two, add together, you got 24 inches of cone area. That's really not the case. Um, basically, let's all right. Let's look at the word cone area. All right. Um, all right. Cone area, area of the shape of the cone. That means if you got a round subwoofer, you're looking at the area of a circle. Basically, so if you know your geometry, you know that formula is pi r squared. <coughs> so let's. I'll have probably have more little details about it in the description box and whatnot. But anyways, um, so for example, you say you got a 12 inch subwoofer <coughs> that means it's 12 inches diameter now according to the uh, formula of area circle you need the radius of it uh, you know pi r squared you know the r means radius all right so you to find that you have the diameter and so instead of 12 inches you got 6 inches in the radius so you squared that which is 36 and you multiply that by pi which is short verse 3.14 you got 113 Point, well, I'm just going to say 113 inches for sure. But 113 is cone area for that 12 inch subwoofer. And you know, that's basically how you do it. <laughs> and like, that's, that will answer a lot of questions why people are saying, like, why 118 inch subwoofer is bigger. Well, it's got more cone area than two 12 inch subwoofers. You know, that will answer, that will answer some of the questions out there. Now, I remember back in the day, I saw a little chart or whatever. I think it was on ISCA.com. I can't remember what it, uh, what website it was, but they had a little chart where basically it said like the size of the subwoofer, um, how many cone, uh, excuse me, how many inches, of, how many square inches of cone area it has, and then like and like added up what uh, added up what how many uh, you know quantity of subwoofers you have and whatnot. And on that chart you can see that six 15 inch subwoofers had more cone area than four 18 inch subwoofers. And well, not and, but it had also had more cone area than eight 12 inch subwoofers, and that could you know that basically explains a lot about that. I'll probably go ahead and look for the chart and probably put it in the description box and whatnot, but we'll see about that. Um, you know, I'll see if I have time on that. But basically, this is my video of letting y'all know what cone area is about. Um, just if you want some of the audio experts, if you see this video, haven't seen this video. Just go ahead and comment and whatnot, you know, I'll come back and, you know, I'll let everybody know and this and that, blah, 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 blah. And let's, that's pretty much it about this video. I'm Big Jern, and this is it. Oh, yeah, got to rip my fraternity. Out of Phi Theta, Fraternity Incorporated. Had to throw that in there. <laughs> and this is basically it for the video. Now go home. Leave me alone. Get away from me!